All right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy D. Anthony. Have my boy Adon here. What's up? And my other boy C. Jack. Hello. And we are Break Room Blitz. Blitz. Thank you guys for watching. This is our new segment, our our cup of tea, just kind of our opinions of what's going on in yeah. the entertainment world. Okay. All right. So <laughs> before we start, if we do put a smile on your face, God needs to hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that like button because you can't be smiling for free. Okay. <laughs> it costs to smile. Okay. Okay. One like button. And if we make you think, go ahead and comment. We want to know what you guys think about our opinions. And if you want to see us all the time, go ahead and hit that subscription button with that notification bell. Okay? Bell. All right. So, first up, we got uh, top five of the box office. Top thing. five movies opening this week. So, what we got at the top of the box office, Blade oh, yeah. Runner. Blade Runner. Blade we Runner. did a review. Check that out. Check it out. It's right on our page. Yeah. Uh, 2049. So this is a sci-fi detective thriller. Okay. Harrison Ford, Ryan Gosling. Is it a thriller? Okay. Yes, it is. All right. Uh, 49 percent. We got Mountain Between Us. This is starring Idris Elba and the other chick from the Titanic. Kate Winslet. Kate Winslet. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and I want to draw her like one of my French girls. Oh, that sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that though. I, I, I do want to see this movie. Um, so this is, uh, you know, put it into a survival action drama. Uh, the crash on a plane, right on a mountain. Crash on a plane and mountain and snowy. So yeah, and how they get off the mountain. Snowy it mountain. seems really cool. Check out the pre the trailer if you haven't seen it. Absolutely. Uh, number three is Victoria and Abdul. This is a biography drama historic, based upon a book. And uh, it's uh, basically Queen of England and takes, uh, makes a friend uh, from oh. India. So oh. very touching. I think it's pretty cool. I do want to check it out. It piqued my interest. I'm good. Uh, next one we got is My Little Pony, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, what, D. Anthony really wants to see that one because he's a brony. Whose face just lit up when he saw it? Or when he heard it? Because I was excited for you. Me or him? <laughs> Bronies. <laughs> this is actually getting a 67% right now. Uh, yeah, because they have kid reviewers. Yeah, it's an animation. It's a comedy. Uh, maybe it's better than Lego Ninjago. I don't know. Probably. I don't know. And I, I, I won't find out. Probably. <laughs> probably. Um, you might be there like, what was it, Rainbow Bright? Rainbow, Rainbow Bright. Rainbow. Some, some for the kids. You know, I liked Rainbow Bright um, <laughs> when I was a kid. See? See? Totally. When I Brony. was a kid, it's not ponies, though. Brony. Care Bears. I did like Care Bears. Care oh, look at that. <laughs> Care Bears stare. I, I like the line. <laughs> um, and yeah. uh, rounding up the box office, uh, number five is The Florida Project. This is getting a 97%. And I think oh, that this, wow. is, this is an Oscar contender. This is basically a drama. It's an original uh, with uh, William Defoe. And uh, this new little girl, we're getting a lot of these little Hollywood kids. Uh, her name is Brooklyn Prince. I think she's awesome. I saw the trailer, and I really want to see this movie. Interesting. So we got some some things you guys can watch it after you see uh, Blade Runner if you're interested. But if you're actually if you're not interested, there's some other options you can go see this weekend to check out artists. Uh, if you guys have your movie pass, he movie got his. Pass. I'm getting mine in the mail <laughs> soon. So if you haven't done your movie pass, they're doing ten dollars a month. You can see one movie every day of the month. So, that's a fuck. Rules and restrictions may apply. <laughs> not 3D, not 9 Max. Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a steal, though. It so. is dope. I love it. You know, it's a great feeling going to the movies and just swiping that card and walking in like a boss. It's a great feeling watching it. I haven't got mine yet, so I have to just sit back and watch them like, damn, that was free. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I'll get mine one day. It's great. It's great. So, uh, that's something you guys can go uh, check out. It. Now we get into our new topics that we have. Uh, so, we got, first thing... Some drama in Hollywood, uh -oh. outside of actual producers and characters. Studios. Uh, we got actual actors that's feuding with each other. We got Tyrese Gibson and Ludacris say they turned down a Fast and Furious spinoff in response to The Rock getting his spinoff. He, they're like, we are a family. There is no spinoffs. There's no Fast and Furious without us all. I kind of agree. I kind of don't agree, but the issue is it's making Fast Furious 9 um, delay because they're going to do the Rock movie first. And they're like, what? That shouldn't You shouldn't be delaying us as a family yeah. because you want to do some little side thing. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this... 
I think it's very selfish. I, I think, like uh, you mentioned, uh, Fast and Furious, it's always been about La Familia and everybody at this table uh, is, you know, what this is all about, you know? Uh, yeah, and, it's like if uh, this guy went to a whole other studio without us. What? <laughs> Just yeah, kidding. I don't know. Just kidding. Um, but uh, uh, I think that um, I, I, I understand the feud, you know, because they're bros, they've done plenty of movies. Um, the fact that The Rock is just, it seems out of character for him, really. But, I mean, yeah. I guess when you got, like, a big chunk of money staring down at you, what are you going to do? Yeah, I mean, if, if they're giving you $20 million, $30 million, I don't know what they give him per movie. But he's one of the top grossing actors out there right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. So, one of the most sought after. I mean... He's killing it. It's hard to be like, you know what, no... But, because I don't know what they get on the movie, on the actual Fast and Furious, right. like, as collectively, they're not all getting $20 million. I don't think it would be right for The Rock to do a spin-off movie still with the title of Fast and Furious. Yeah, um, I don't know what the title is, though. Um, well, it's still in the works, you know, they're still, like, going through some, uh, Yeah, but he's and... still his own character, so that's the issue. Like, I think that's a big issue. I don't know, it's hard, what are you, what are you thinking here? Hollywood stop getting greedy and keep the movie the way it is because I'm sorry but The Rock hasn't been in all the Fast and the Furious and the spin off and do Fast and the Furious with just The Rock is stupid I, I think that it, 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 it's okay to do this in the uh, superhero world you know we're getting a lot of these you know uh, of origin stories you know Wonder Woman getting hers mm -hmm. and that <laughs> And, you know, this Fast and Furious franchise, you know, yeah, it's blown up and they're making billions worldwide, but, you know, they, they have a structure that's now working for them, and, and they're not technically superheroes, even though we do joke about some of the stunts they do. They're it's definitely like, superheroes. How are you not breaking something if you're jumping out of the car <laughs> running that fast, all right? No scratches, <laughs> nothing. Yeah. Hey, you see <gasps> Oh, you see how fast I was driving? Diesel. <laughs> yeah, you know what? The issue that I have is that it, it is the most diverse cast that's out there right now as far as the movies go. Yes. And, you know, we got Asians, we got uh, Hispanics, we got Blacks, we got White. You know, and, and they're all a team, and they all call each right. other family. And to see that, I think the reason why it makes so much money is not because of the cars, because really they're so, so far yeah. gone past the cars. They got... Submarines and planes and stuff, oh, but it's it's to see the diversity and the love that they have for one another on yeah. the screen. Everyone gets a piece of who they are mm -hmm. on that screen doing something awesome. And I think to take away from that is I feel I don't want to say selfish to it's selfish to the fans. Yeah, like and it. and also you don't understand what it is you, that you're a part of. We're all so, back out of it, and if you're gonna make the next another Fast and Furious, and everyone's gonna be on it. Otherwise, they're just Stop it. Yeah, make your own thing. I mean, why piggyback off that? I mean, you've only been in the last three. Right, yeah. Um, and really haven't had that many scenes in all three. So I, I feel like you should just kind of like just enjoy the ride. Yeah. But that's just me. <laughs> I like that pun. <laughs> I said, he gets all my puns. I never, <laughs> never <laughs> intentional. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Let's see here. Um, so next thing we got, Jackie Chan confirms Rush Hour 4 is happening Jackie. he Whoa. says good Ooh. news next year rush hour four and i what i don't like about the quote is that they quoted him with his broken english i'm like can you like kind of fill in what you know he would have said i don't want no trouble <laughs> he, said, <laughs> <laughs> he said i hope the script done i hope the script is done and day after tomorrow we meet with the director and chris tucker again to make sure we go the right track so you guys know what i'm saying to make sure everything is in order to make sure you know we're going to give you guys a good movie right i don't like that they quoted him that that you know verbatim but that's what the quote was yeah so we got chris tucker mm -hmm. which doesn't seem to want to do nothing but rush hour four and i feel like he i feel like he was the bigger actor mm -hmm. at the, when it first came out oh absolutely and now He's kind of like taking kind of like a back seat and he's like, I hope I get this because that's the only thing I'm going to ever do. You know, I uh, think that Hollywood definitely red flagged him, you know, like they do with a lot of these actors, you know. I mean, he just doesn't want to play characters that are like stereotypical, which I understand. Right. Um, but, I mean, it, it's, it's his opinion. If, that, if that's what he wants to do, it's his prerogative, whatever. But you guys think about, you know, another one. Part, another, part four to Rush Hour. Have we been <laughs> tired of traffic? 
Oh, are man. we? <laughs> I'm definitely tired of traffic. But I, I saw one, and that was it. So I, I don't, I don't care. Um, well, I, I have definitely seen every single rush hour. I, yeah, I, I, I think it, it was so fun. Uh, I think that the franchise is fun. It's fun. I, I think that now that they're like as old as they are, I, I almost have a feeling that they're probably going to do this rush hour and hand over the baton to like I don't know maybe Kevin Hart and another Asian character, and then they're going to take the franchise somewhere else. I don't think that they should. I think it is what it is. I think the fact that they're both alive, really, you should just leave it alone. It's a classic. Whether or not you guys agree as far as, like, how well the movies are or what, how well they do, they're fun. They're fun for kids that like, yeah. you know, kung fu. They're fun for, for people who want to, you know, laugh. I think that they're fun. They're adventurous. I don't know if we need another one. I like yeah. part one and two. Three is okay. One and two are my, my favorite. Um, I don't know if I want a four, though, but they might come together. I'm just curious. Way. Like, So this whole passing of the torch <clears throat> thing, is like, I feel like they're, they're doing it within the franchise now to carry on the franchise. Mm -hmm. I remember that on that one movie, The Rundown, I think it was, when mm -hmm. Schwarzenegger passed on the torch to, to The Rock. For the rock to become the next big guy in hollywood you know the big you know adventurous muscular man mm -hmm. and i'm like why are you passing it in franchise like it shouldn't be like that at all you should pass it outside of that just like they did it and then rock to work. do it on your own individual movie not off of someone else's franchise i think that's that's the point with passing the torch if, if they do that at all i'm just gonna i'm gonna laugh even more and be like you guys are stupid hollywood is stupid um, yeah, I, I agree, with, especially in this type of movie. I don't think they should do that. I'm such a big Jackie Chan fan, and uh, I don't know. So, I'm going to just say some bad news. <clears throat> bad news. Really, Scott teases Alien Covenant sequel storyline. He says, Michael Fassbender, uh, villainous AI, David, will play a large role. I'm so over David. I'm so I don't care about your flute playing. I don't care about your philosophies. I don't care about none of that. Oh god. Because the th the thing about Alien and and I like them all, 1 2 and 3. Um is that they have compelling characters. He can't be the only one that people care about. No. Like that just doesn't make any sense to me. Like it 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 just takes away from what the franchise was about. They had all these interesting characters that, like, everyone can kind of connect to. Like, I, I don't know why we want to focus on the android. Right, right. He's yeah. the android. Yeah. And we've had, he's had his time. We're done. Exactly. But, no, we got to focus on him. What do you guys think? Is this... I think that, uh... uh bad news? Good news. It's, it's definitely <laughs> bad news. I mean, it's nothing but bad news. Uh, I, I feel that, you know, Aliens came back really hard. I mean, I, I love Prometheus. I love that first movie that they did it, it was so awesome i was on board with it and then when they made this movie it was just over uh, I, i'm so out of it i'm so done with this we're i don't done. want anything to do with this anymore we're done especially more so if we're following the same problem child that caused this last you know yeah, they movie. have such an, a great opportunity to explain the ending of prometheus some, some explaining to do and they just dropped it it's like you know where you came from what well, Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's dead. You'll never know. Don't worry about it. The thing about it, too, is like now we have all these different alien races because you have those albino ones, you have the first one set on the, the other planet. I'm sitting there thinking, like, so there's definitely more races of these aliens now out there in this world. And Who cares? Like, I'm curious about it. I'm curious about it, but like, yeah. And you guys had a great opportunity, too. Like, I liked Covenant. I was fine with Covenant. And I liked Prometheus perfectly fine. However, I was really looking forward to that confrontation between um, the, the one doctor and the, the, the engineers. Like, I, I wanted to roll barge in there and be like, you know what, you motherfucker. Like, I just, I wanted, I kind of wanted to see that. I think they just yeah. didn't have a story. It wasn't a strong enough storyline. Yeah. Yeah. I know David's doing his thing as the android. Cool, but I, I, I don't know. I, I'm he can't. Bad robot. He Bad can't. robot. He can't be the only one that we oh, actually David. know or care about, though. Yeah. Like... We need some people that, you know, we can actually relate to. Everyone's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so X-Men spinoff Gambit recruits Pirate of the Caribbean director. Ooh. Now, everyone's been... We've been talking about Gambit movie for a long time. Yeah, man. And now we finally got a director. They've been losing directors. And they're like, well, what, when, when, when is this going to get off the ground? So now to be... Uh, to give some perspective, he did the first three... 
Pirates of the Caribbean. Not the last two. Oh, so okay. Okay. <laughs> don't be alarmed. <laughs> you know, if you like the first three, then he gonna he, he should bring something to you that you know you would you would like. What are you guys thinking here? We got Shannon Tatum still in it. Taters. So what do you guys think? I don't like Shannon Tatum as Gambit, but maybe he'll do a good job. I don't know. Yeah, I think um <clears throat> You know, I've been a Gambit fan, you know, ever since the X-Men. But I, I, I like him with the X-Men, the original X-Men. And now that we don't have Hugh Jackman anymore, and we don't have a lot of these classic X-Men characters, yeah. you know. Gambit, Nightcrawler, all these cool characters that we, we had growing up in the 90s just completely obliterated and rebooted several times. So, I mean, do I want a Gambit? Yes. But I want him with the X-Men, the original X-Men cast. I'm not too enthusiastic. Aztec, I mean, it, it, it's just been so like, okay, we're going to make it. Oh, Deadpool 2 comes out. Okay, postpone. And then... Okay, so if he was with everyone... If he was with and everyone... And then got his solo, would you be okay with that? I'd be cool with that. Cool with that. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to go on the same bar, and I will also <coughs> go on the same bar. I'm not looking forward to Channing Tatum. Um, <laughs> I actually like Tyler Kirsch as him. I just think yes. the script was horrible for him. Because it's like, he's like... I ain't going back. Bam! And it's like, oh, come uh, on! Punked him. Like, punked and, and Tyler Kirsch it was dead on. Like, I, he, the, the minor parts that he did was bad. I was just like, I was on board with that. But he just, he limited his character and that sucked. It really did. And you could have did so much more. And then, you know, you know what you did to Deadpool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I, as far as spinoff go, I'm sorry. Gambit is, is an excellent supporting character. He's not a primary character. I'm sorry. The story that we had in the original animated series, it was one byline of a story going off where he went to his history, and that was an interesting episode, but it was one 30-minute episode. I'm worried. You are it. going to try to make it into a two-hour movie, and I'm going to go in there and smack all of you. I'm going to throw cards at all of you and set them on fire. I know, like, man. This is what you're doing. <laughs> I'm, I'm so going, in. I'm going postal. I am buying the whole Gambit story. I don't give a shit that he doesn't have anyone else. I He was one of my favorite... Him and Rogue were my two favorite characters that I wanted to see every single time I watched X-Men. I liked Wolverine. He was cool. Mm -hmm. I liked Storm. She was cool. Jubilee, great. But Rogue and Gambit was my shit. So you know what? Gambit had his swag. They left him out for like 10 movies. Yeah. Let him speak his piece. How they can make this work, I'm just going to say, just toss my tidbit in there, because this whole point of doing reviews and stuff like this is keep giving our input. The way I can see this movie working is if you give us the Gambit movie, but you also introduce some of the other core characters that we've grown up with and, and put them in that atmosphere. I don't know who yet. You guys have to figure that, that crap out. But at the end of the movie, re-kick off the X-Men by the recruitment of Gambit. So show us that towards the end, like have Storm fucking jet down and not Holly Berry, thank you. And she's like, hey, yo, you want to join our Holly team? Berry. I don't know, figure it out. But start introducing the X-Men and, re you know, because you did the first class, cool, but everyone's not really feeling that anymore, are they? I don't know. I, I don't know. It, it's just been rebooted so many yeah. times. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, that, I mean, Fox, continue thing. doing your thing. Just keep rebooting it all until you get it right. Maybe you'll get it right. Black or black keep rebooting <laughs> it up until the point <laughs> where you just true. give it back to Disney because you realize you just can't handle the franchise. <laughs> don't want them. I don't want Disney to have everything. <laughs> Disney is too safe. Well, then Fox has to start doing better. <laughs> At least they take some risks. Oh, man. I Deadpool want, was great. I want a, I want a good game. I want a Gambit-style Deadpool That would be hilarious. Movie, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think it should be rated R. Uh, I've had enough PG-13, you know, action superhero movies. Yeah. Rated R now. It's for the adults. Okay. Right. Um, <clears throat> well, um, in lights of the... Or I don't know if I want to say lights, but in... Um, the, the tragic events of the, the shooting in Las Vegas, um, Netflix has pushed the premiere date for the Marvel um, Punisher. So, I mean, I get it. I don't agree, though, but I get it. It's a safe face type of thing, but we're still putting it out. We're still going to push it to the mindsets of the masses. So, but, I mean... And I think that's the that's the problem where you know such a gung slinger uh, mentality culture that if they were gonna just I think they should just if they're gonna do that just pull the whole show because it is accessible to kids it's not like it, there's a, a rated R version of Netflix um, so I get why they're doing it it's just 
shallow to me. Um, I think that maybe we should change our mentality and not be such gunslingers, you know. But that's just me personally. What do you guys think? I think that's. Uh, I think they did the right thing. I think that uh, they they need to be sensitive of their audience, you know, as far as like you know respecting what's going on currently. And I think they understood that they're they're not going to put it out there, but they did work on something for the fans. And out of respect for the actors that did work and do this uh, show, they, they, they will eventually show it, just the timing is off. And they, they went with that. I, I, I understand why they did it, and I agree with it, too. Um, I think that, you know, for, for them to say, okay, we're not going to do it at all, and completely pull it and never release it, and, and, you know, any other studio having the same type of, you know, genre of shoot 'em up movies uh, pulling theirs as well. I think that's very extremist. Um, well, I think the event think, that happened was pretty extreme. I, I think so too, but like at, at what point do you <clears throat> draw the line, you know? It's, it's um, yeah, it's thin ice. Um, I'm, I'm for them doing it. I think it's actually nice that they're actually being sensitive to it. Um, uh, as far as removing it completely, I, just, I mean, you put it out when you're gonna put it out. I'm not really worried about it. Uh, you know, in, in contrast to the events, um, I'm sorry, but you should be teaching your kids or anyone that's watching it that this is this is that realm. You you need to be on top of that and acknowledge. This kids shouldn't character. be watching this at all. Yeah, they shouldn't be. I mean, if you're letting your kid watch it, then you're fucking horrible. Like, but uh, you, I think you should. Your kids should not be introduced <laughs> to this entire environment. But yeah, it's the same thing as scary movies, murder movies. At that point, right. you can't make any of those movies because it's either way. If it's gonna get in someone's hands, then there you go. There's a murderer with a knife. There's a masked murderer. There's a, you know, you just I, can get. I think that uh, truly anybody that's like really affected uh, uh, by like you know there, so many people that you know, uh, you know were hit by this tragedy. Yeah. Won't won't end up watching this. You know, a lot of people are not gonna watch <coughs> this regardless because of that. Um, so I mean. Them not pulling it and still releasing it, their their ratings are gonna see that. Yeah. You know, there's it, so it, many people reflect, that won't yeah. be watching this. Like it's in, not good in, for the time in general, general. You know, how, however much time that they people feel like, you know, right now is not a good time to go watch. I was gonna watch, you know, American Assassins. I'm not gonna watch that now, you know, and I'm gonna watch these different type of movies. But I just think that the culture that we have glorifies that type of behavior anyway. So it's like, well, yeah, you can say if you let your kids watch it, you're a bad person. But if that's how you grew up, you know, someone has to teach you your morals. If no one taught you that, Absolutely. and it's like, this is just fake. It's just nothing. But you don't know how everyone is affected by it. So I think at some point as a society, as a government, or as, you know, a corporate world, we should care more about the people. And not just like, well, it's your fault because you didn't do this. Well, I mean... But you're putting it out, and you know our, you know, people's weaknesses. We're all, we all have weaknesses. We all like certain things, you know. So to, to blame us for liking <laughs> this type of stuff is, you know, everyone to, should take responsibility. But I'm just saying, it to me, it's a. I don't really care about you, but I'm gonna just pull back real quick while you cry. But then I'm gonna just, just kind of throw it at you anyway. So that's my thing. It's not to me. It's not genuine. So either so, go, go along <clears throat> through with it like you normally would, and, and who gives a shit because you're you're basically calling them fake for what they did. Or just try just change the, the culture altogether. Like we don't need a punisher. You know what are you who are you punishing? You know I guess, I think that the guy thought he was punishing people. I don't know. I mean I just think I would respect them way more if they made a move like that, if they actually cared about you know society. And I'm like, well, it's the parents' fault. So, I don't know. That's just me personally. Yeah, it's definitely a double-edged sword on the <clears throat> It's a catch-22. It, it really is. Um, you, so, know, you get so rid of it, then fans get angry because they're like, well, we're fine with it. We'll be okay. And then you, you, you don't... This is it. why we can't have nice things. Yeah, it, just, it's, it's, it, it is. It's, it's, it's very, it's very difficult. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, on a... Uh, <sighs> no, not a actual um, high note. Because Netflix is also upgrading or... Yeah, I guess upgrading, but they're making their prices more expensive. Um, so for <laughs> you losing money on those bad movies, those bad anime movies and stuff like that, uh, stop making them. Man, you know they they're on a downward spiral when you really see what they're putting out. I mean, yeah, they had some really like 
box office hitting stuff for their viewers and subscribers, but when you make things like Defenders and, you know, Iron Fist, and you put things like, you know, these Death Note type movies that are just really, the quality is bad. When you rush well, them, I'm I think sorry, it's not going to... They know that. Game. I mean, it's not a production by Netflix. They mm -hmm. just licensed it. Right, so, absolutely. But now they're doing things that they actually going to produce because I think they want to make sure that they're going to get quality work and not just buy a property that's kind of sucked and they didn't have any control they over They definitely it. should I'm have some quality changes them. Yeah. Um, so we got, if you just paid for two two boxes, so two TVs, is $9.99, it's going to be $10.99. Um, the four dollar. boxes, if, or four TVs, I don't know why I'm calling them box, like a cable I, box. I don't know. The four <laughs> TVs. Your yeah. old cathode ray tube, guys. <laughs> Four TVs was eleven ninety nine, which is what I have because I have like me, my mom, my son, and I think my sister and my brother. So um, I have that one. It's gonna be thirteen ninety nine. I and then if you just have the regular, you know, basic package, it's still gonna be the same seven ninety nine. I don't care too much. I think that is still worth it. Um, I wouldn't want to not have it. It, it, it's definitely a smart, um, you know, play on their part just for the sake of if they're not raising the. Uh, price for the single subscription, but they're raising the price on the multiple subscriptions. They already see that, you know, taking a survey, hey, you know, two subscriptions, two people pay, and they split the cost, you know? It's like, yeah. okay, five bucks, five bucks, and it's still cheaper than the one subscription. Yeah, I, I actually see this fair. I mean, because, you know, they could be charging a whole lot more for this if people still pay for it. Some right. Group, they're not actually just butchering everyone for it. So, by all means, what you did, do it. Yeah, I think it's great. I think it's still fine. They said they were going to up, upgrade the interface, you know, make it easier and faster. Don't do what Hulu do. I hate that interface. Good God. Hulu's no, interface Hulu. does suck. Um, I will have to say. Yeah, I don't even go on anymore because I'm like, I can't even do this. Yeah. It's, so, it's, it's such a headache to find things. Like, why is it hidden? Why is everything hidden? Everything is hidden. I can't even <laughs> browse easy. <laughs> like, golly. So don't do that. But if you want to make it easier and intuitive right. for people to find things, I'm all for it. You yeah, know, I don't absolutely. want them to go out of business. No, no. So I'm okay with it. It's $2 more. Yeah. And you if, do. if you got the, the two TVs, it's only a dollar more. Nine nine cents. You'd be fine. That's okay. Uh, all right, guys. That's the news <laughs> for Friday, October 6th. Um, let us know what you guys thought. Again, if we made you smile... Go ahead and hit that like button. If we made you think, go ahead and comment. And if you want to see us all the time, go ahead and hit that subscription button with that notification bell, okay? All, all right. right, guys. I'm your boy, DeAnthony. I'm on. I'm C-Jack. And we're out, baby. Peace. Peace. Bye-bye.